Okay, to continue. The Again, this plus sign, when it's between two vectors like this, it's telling you to do, to follow a procedure, do something specific. Hook up vector A and vector B head to tail. If they're in the same direction, here's A and B. If they're, in, if they're perpendicular to each other, A plus B. If they are in uh, opposite directions, you go A plus B. And your, the result of all of this is to start uh, is to start where A started and end where B ends. And so here you get 7, here you get 5, and here you get 1. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this mathematically. How would you add these together you know, more analytically? This is a great graphical approach that I've shown you here, but now we want you know, to do it a little bit more mathematically. So let me zoom in a little bit. And we're just going to do our three examples that we did uh, before. The first example is when A and B are in the same direction. So if I take A plus B for our first example, oh, you know what I'm going to do? When I do this mathematically, I don't write it like this. I go A plus B. I, I line it up in columns like this because it makes it a little bit easier to solve the problem. Then, now let's take a look at vector A and vector B. What I do now is I write down the two vectors in rectangular coordinates with the x coordinate first and the y coordinate second. So let's take a look at vector A. What is vector A? Well, it's how far in the x direction? 3. And how far is vector A in the y direction? Seven. It is 0 in the y direction. Now let's take a look at B for our first example. How far in the x direction? 4. And how far in the y direction? 0. And, and now I can say, hey, in the x direction, my resultant, or my resultant vector, or the vector I get from adding these two vectors, is I just go 3 plus 4 equals 7, and 0 plus 0 is 0. And this is my resultant vector in rectangular coordinates. Now, I want to write down my answer in polar coordinates. On the homework, all your answers, all the resultant vectors, have to be in polar coordinates, which gives me a magnitude and a direction. Well, what is the magnitude of this vector? How long is this vector right here? Well, it's obviously 7. So if I write vector r in Polar coordinates, sorry, yeah, thanks. Then <clears throat> it's going to be seven meters or whatever we're using, seven units long. What is the angle here, though? Remember the polar coordinates, it's r and theta. What's the angle? Now let's take a look at the vector again. What's the angle of this on an xy plane? It's zero. Zero degrees. So by inspection, you could just write the answer like this. Easy. OK, but if you really wanted to be rigorous about it, if you want to get really ridiculous, you can say, all right, well, r is equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared, take the square root. Right? Pythagorean theorem. Well, what do you get? 7 squared is 49 plus 0. Square root of 49 is 7. Then you can take the inverse tangent of the y value over the x value. Well, what's the inverse tangent of 0? 0 degrees. So that's our theta. 
Okay, so you can go through all this, but look, look at the picture. You don't need to do all this math. Look at the picture. You can see that it has a magnitude of seven and an angle of zero degrees. <coughs> this is the answer to A plus B for our first example. Now for our second example, it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, here we have A plus B and so if I'm going to write this example in um, rectangular coordinates, well what is A? Well A once again, if I look at it, it's three units long in the x direction and zero in the y direction. And then, But look at vector B now. Vector B, if I look at vector B, it has no x component. So in the x direction, B is zero. But in the y direction, it's four. Whoops. Keep me on camera there. So now I just add them together, like I did before. 3 plus 0 is 3. 0 plus 4 is 4. And that's my answer in rectangular coordinates. Now if I want to get this in polar coordinates, well, I'm just going to say r is equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. Well, you know this. 9 plus 16 is 25. Take the square root of 25, you get 5. Now, theta is the inverse tangent of the y value over the x value. Do I need to add 180 degrees to my answer? <clears throat> no. The x value is positive. And when you plug that in your calculator, you get 53.1 degrees. So I can say vector r in polar coordinates is 5 at 53.1 degrees. So I lied at the beginning a little bit when I said that 3 plus 4 equals 5. The magnitude of adding these vectors is 5, but you have to include the direction to get our full answer. This is what you're going to be doing in the homework. Finally, let's do our last example. Um, a is, and I'll have to go way up here. If you look at A, A is three meters or three whatever units in the x direction. and zero in the y, plus b. Well, let's take a look at b. Look at, look at b. It's one, two, three, four units long, but it's in the negative x direction. So this is going to be negative four and zero. So this is going to be negative one in the x and zero in the y. And that's my result. Now, if I want to make the, put this in polar coordinates, well, the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared, it's negative 1 squared is 1, plus 0, take the square root of, of 1 is 1. So that's my magnitude is 1. But what is my direction? Well, look at the picture. The best way to do it is to look at the picture. If A is over like this and B is over like that, R is in at what angle compared to our positive x-axis? Well, that would be 180 degrees. Does that make sense to everybody? That's 180 degrees to the left. And there's our answer.